Hello everyone, this is Zagony333, and we are here for another movie review. This one being Silent Hill. One that I've anticipated doing for this channel for a very long fucking time. It is a movie from 2006, it's rated R, it is 2 hours and 5 minutes, and it is fucking awesome. I gotta say right out the get-go, it is fucking awesome as hell. But, let's get into this shit. Shall we? Um, starting off, let's go to trivia, I guess. Um, the director actually took five years to get the rights to make this film. He had to show his dedication to make this film to Konami, which is the, uh, the people who had the, uh, rights to the game adaptions and all that, you know, the ones who actually made the game. He had to really show that he loved and dedicated his time to this franchise, the series, to get it up off the ground in order for them to even help him make this film. So I gotta give props to him. And uh, yeah, I definitely sort of agree with him because yeah, it's a movie and it's a franchise that at least for me, I love very dearly. And I think a lot of people do love Silent Hill. It's a really great, unique amazing groundbreaking series of games and storytelling and shit but let's get into another uh, fact here there are actually a <clears throat> hundred copies of the outfit for the uh, main actress by the way which uh rose is her name in the film but there was a hundred copies of her outfit made just for that role which is pretty crazy to me anyways that's more dedication and stuff like there are tons and tons of trivia facts that I could have put down here, but I didn't put down here just to try to, like, lessen the length of the video and stuff. But, like, really, if you like anything Silent Hill, if you do like this movie, go check out the trivia facts because um, on IMDb or whatever else. Because there is tons and tons of, like, time, dedication, and passion that went into making this awesome fucking film. And that's the other thing I gotta say also is from reviews that I've seen and things that I've seen, a lot of people don't seem to think this film's very awesome. They kind of like, you know, lowball it. They give it a fucking low rating and everything else. And that is one thing I'll get out the door here. My uh, rating will be biased because I just have always thought this is a great fucking movie from the moment I saw it. And so let's get into the synopsis finally. What the fuck is this film about, Agony? You've been talking about trivia and shit, but you haven't talked about what the fuck this film's actually about. Well, this film is a film that's basically about a mother and her daughter. Uh, Rose is the mother, and Sharon is the daughter. And basically, the daughter's waking up and having these night terrors that reference a town called Silent Hill. And so basically, the mom, in order to hope to fix things with her daughter because, you know, things seem kind of in turmoil and everything for her and her family. She basically decides to try to take her to Silent Hill to get some answers and to, you know, find out what's going on because it is an actual town, you know? And so she takes her to Silent Hill and the town uh, is basically in its own state of hell. It's another reality of sorts. And she's got to basically venture through this crazy fucking shithole in order to save her daughter who is then lost and also find, you know, answers for why all this is going on. So that's the synopsis. And now let's get into uh, some facts before I get into spoilers and stuff. So the positives of this movie, okay, that length of time that I mentioned, you don't fucking feel that at all, at least for me personally. Like, this movie, it it's always been great. Like I said, the moment I viewed it, and I'll get into more into that in a little bit here. But the movie has always been a very great one. Even though it's a two hour and five minute long movie, which I've talked about run long, uh, run times and stuff like that. This movie handles it so damn well because it goes from that storytelling, the character building to these act uh, action sequences and, you know, exploration sequences where she's kind of going through the town and everything. They just did a really great job with all those things. And... You know, not only do I absolutely love the music because they use the music that's from the games in this film, a lot of it was, and the music is phenomenal as fuck. Um, 
uh, Akira Yamaoka is the uh, person in the music, by the way, but amazing fucking music. And that's what I gotta also say. It's another soundtrack that you would like. You know, at least for me, I love to hear even outside those games. It's a soundtrack that sticks with you. It always has stuck with me. And it's just very well done. So there's a very good soundtrack there. You know, from the games to the movie. Great soundtrack. Um, the sets and shots are fucking awesome as hell. And I love the foggy, dreary and dreamy, almost surreal atmosphere this film gives. And that's another thing that's like a connection there. You know, the games have that really great atmosphere and that really great feeling. And this movie has that really great atmosphere and feeling as well. They really matched it so fucking well in this movie. And here's another thing I'll say. Is I actually watched this movie when it came out in theaters as a kid in 2006. And... For me personally, I remember sitting in that seat as a kid, and it was unforgettable. It was a movie that blew my mind as a kid. It was, uh, and it goes to show you, you know, sometimes seeing a movie in the actual theater instead of, you know, at your home or something, but going to the theater and with the surround sound, with that cinematic atmosphere that a movie theater can provide, can also go to heighten a film's experience and this is one of those that goes to show that because, yeah, even to this very fucking day, I remember that movie in the theaters and it was an experience that I'll never forget. The soundtrack, all that portrayed there, it's a movie I was thankful to see in theaters when it released. But here's another thing I thought was kind of strange. I don't know exactly why <clears throat> they went with this, but in the game version, Silent Hill, the original game, this movie's supposed to be based off of. They, in the game, it was Harry Mason and his daughter. But for some reason in this movie, it went from Harry Mason to Rose, the, the girl instead. Instead of the father being the one with his daughter, it was the uh, mother with his daughter. But I don't know. I thought that was kind of strange. I don't know exactly why that choice was there. It works, though. It doesn't really seem to do anything. I mean, like in a lot of cases, there's been times where I've kind of thought of or talked with friends like, why can't they be true to the original adaption and blah, 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 bullshit like that. But in this case, it actually works. It doesn't really matter that they changed some things up and that they actually, you know, had to uh, rewrite some things, change some things. It works still here. And that's the other thing I was going to get into is that this is my favorite game adapted movie. Yeah. Even with everybody giving it low ratings, like I've seen around on sites and on movie reviews. For me personally, I have to say out of all the movies I've seen, and I've seen out of, you know, I've seen the Resident Evil franchise, that whole thing, the day those released, because I love Resident Evil as well. And I've also seen, obviously, this. And, you know, Doom and other, you know, movie adaptations to those games. And at least for me personally, I mean, I've seen House of the Dead, I've seen like all that I can when it comes to game adapted movies that I love because I love them as games and I love to see them as movies as well. And that's what I have to say is that personally out of every single one that I've ever seen, I have to say that this movie was is my favorite game adapted movie because yeah, it does all those things so well. It keeps the soundtrack there, you know, it changes some minor things. But it seems to capture the essence of how that game felt. It really captures that well, even though it changes some things. That doesn't really matter. It captures all those things well enough to where, at least for me, it's my favorite you know, game adapted movie. And so I don't really understand why other people feel the way they do. I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion, their opinion and stuff. But for me, this is the fucking king of game adapted movies but uh yeah now let me go ahead and give it its rating and then get to some slight spoilers so the rating i thought i'd give this film which like i said is a biased one because i just adore this film feel like it handled things so fucking well this movie i thought i would give a nine yeah a nine a high rating because for me it delivers not only doing something true to the game series 
But even on its own, as an entertaining film with everything, it does well too. I mean, there's people I've showed this film to that don't even give a shit about video games. And they have actually really liked this film and agree with me it's a good film. So to me, that has to go to show you that even if, you know, some people have their gripes about this film and feel like this film isn't enough and it's not done enough and it's not true to the story or something or the acting is not the best because, yeah, there's some acting in this that's kind of like, you know, kind of uh instead of great. But that's what I'm saying. All those flaws don't mean shit, at least to me and the others that have viewed it. Because everyone that I've known anyways have always thought this film was a good film. And I agree with them. And I gotta say the efforts put into this film were fucking great. And it paid off. It was a really good film. And I love and adore this film. So my rating was 9. And now let's get into a little bit of spoilers. I probably won't talk about actually much in spoilers this time. But let's go into fucking spoilers! Alright, so, the spoilers I thought I'd mention is, uh, man, it was fucking crazy when, um, they did really well with just the creature designs and things like that. They really nailed the, you know, they really nailed the variety of creatures that you see in Silent Hill because in Silent Hill, the great thing is there's always this variety, almost like Resident Evil as well. They have a great, good amount of variety of monsters and things with their own backstories and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. You know, a lot of other movies might have just some zombies. Or some same single kind of things. But this movie handles all those great. It has these bugs. It has the fucking, you know, these shambling fucking terrors. It has Pyramid Head. It has all these great, badass, awesome fucking things. And, uh, yeah. Does that very fucking well. But here's another thing I thought I'd mention is... Man, the fucking kill in particular where the uh, pyramid head grabs a girl and rips her fucking skin off. God, that <laughs> that really fucked with me the first time I saw that and always has. It's always been a very impactful, great moment, great scene, a really crazy one. And that's another thing I'll get into is, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a character named Sybil in this film. And uh, she is the cop, which is... Mentioned in the first game and stuff. So, I mean, like I said, there's connections there and stuff. But, man, like, I really love how they captured her character. They really made her a character that's likable, that you would cheer on for. And, sadly, by the end of the film, they killed this character. And I feel like that whole scene was done very well. I remember as a kid watching it and feeling terrible to see that character killed off. And, you know, even now... Even now, it's like, you know, like I said, that character is likable, and you can feel that. You know, there's some emotions there. And that's what I also gotta say. I mean, while this film also has, like, an entertainment aspect to it, obviously, it's also got those emotional moments as well. So it has the best of both worlds. You know, it has the thought-provoking things that I've mentioned in other videos, but it's also got the, uh, you know, entertainment moments as well, because it's a very entertaining film. But it's also got, you know, the emotional moments too. So it's got all of those things kind of combined here. And that's what also, to me, kind of gave it its rating of nine, is it's entertaining as fuck. It's well, at, you know, it has good, really good effects, set designs, all those things, delivers on that, really pays true to the atmosphere and the feel that the game gave, <clears throat> as well as giving, like, emotional moments, thought-provoking moments. It has all those things wrapped up into one. And to me, that's why it's, you know, kind of an underrated film. Why, you know, others would give it a less rating. I give it a better one because it has all those fucking things. It does good at all those things. And all the actors, all the people involved did a great job at portraying this game series in this town and that's another thing i'll mention another thing uh for spoilers is for me in particular like i said the theater experience was unforgettable it was a really great one and one of the things was like the ending i loved how the ending was handled in this film like when they brought the uh 
you know, brought the thing in, basically, the, the, the bad force, if you will. They brought that in, and just the way that it was brought out and basically destroyed the church, the people who were the actual perpetrators of the crime. Because, yeah, there was like, a, you know, a group, a faction that believed that they stood by the Lord and they were doing right and all this, but in fact, they actually had done so much fucking wrong and they didn't realize that for some fucking reason. But when they were paid their due, it was done in such a glorious, fucking amazing fashion. And the way that, uh, you know, the music, like the accordion music, the, you know, I don't know what exact instruments were used, but the music that plays, the way it was done is just fucking great. It's a great spectacle. It's a great kind of vengeful moment. It really, like, I don't know. For me, another emotional moment. It was just, it was really awesome. It was really badass. And I remember in the theater, you know, the surround sound and hearing that fucking music, that music rise up and just surround you and just encapsulate you in that moment. And that's what I'm saying. This is a movie that, in a way, it's like, you know, it's a great movie to just watch, but if you have a surround sound system, this movie would you know, lend greatly to that because, yeah, the music, all those things are so fucking great that it's a movie that you really want to experience the right way in that way. And so that's what I'll say. But yeah, I think I've gone into everything, you know, the main gripes I guess I'd give it or that, you know, others would give it as well is that, you know, some people think the acting is kind of low in some ways. And I sort of agree, you know, some of the acting is not always the best, it's a little bit cheesy or something, but that doesn't mean shit, basically. You know, everything else is so well done in this fucking movie that those little nitpicking things don't really mean shit, at least to me and other probably fans of this movie. Sorry. But, yeah, it is a really great movie if you love the game, if you love the atmosphere, if you love the horror, if you love emotion there, if you love all those things, obviously you'll like this movie, and I highly rate Silent Hill in general. I mean, I've even mentioned it in other Let's Play videos and other things like that. You know, the real, at least another thing I'll say here, is to me, when I think of survival horror and my favorite kind of games, storytelling and things, the two that I really come up with is Resident Evil and then Silent Hill. And that's why, you know, the Resident Evil movies are good and everything. <clears throat> but this one, at least to me in particular, everybody did an amazing job at adapting that series into a film. And even though they change those things, it doesn't really matter. It does a really great job, even outside of that. And even if you're not a fan of games, you could watch this film and still probably be satisfied and enjoy and love this film, just like I do. And so, yeah, it's a rating of 9. Really great fucking movie underrated as fuck and i definitely highly motherfucking recommend that you go check this badass movie out that you purchase this movie that you support this movie and you know yeah consider uh consider the uh, series as well because it is a very amazing set of games as well you know the first trilogy silent hill one two and three and you know even others and stuff just very fucking well done give them their due Check them all out. <clears throat> Support this underrated series. Bring it back or something. You know, Silent Hill and Resident Evil are two survival horror series that, in my opinion, deserve to stick around and be the kings that they deserve to be. And, I mean, there's other ones that, you know, other people that are making new games, these indie games that are really great that I've covered. But, to me, the true kings of this will always be Resident Evil and Silent Hill. They just, they've always done so great. And they deserve the recognition that they deserve. But alright guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this fucking video. I hope that you've gained some sort of insight on this series in this video. And I hope that you're having an amazingly wonderful, badass motherfucking day. And that I will see you guys next time. And this is Agony333. And I'm signing the fuck out finally. Have yourselves an amazingly awesome, badass day. Peace. Motherfuckers. See ya.